Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurion's Review, the punk rock band of Wargame Review Institutions. This is New Schwabenland from Tiny Battle Publishing. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's a German name. But apparently this is a game about the Germans in Antarctica, I believe, in the World War II era, and they encounter aliens living underground or something. That's what I was told. I haven't looked through it yet. So let's take a look through this and see what it's all about. All right, let's look at the rule book first, see how many pages it is. Yeah, it's got a picture of the South Pole or Antarctica there. Interesting. Art, or let's see how many pages. 12 including the notes page. So actually 11 pages of rules. That's not bad. Ooh, and it's got a table of contents too. That's always good. Timeline. In the year 1938, the German Reich, under the direction of Captain Alfred Richer, undertook an expedition to Antarctica. The explored territory was called New Schwabenland. New Schwabia, named after the expedition ship, the Schwabenland. Large amounts of human and material resources were transported into the Arctic region to build a secret base, the Base 211. Many personalities of the NS command staff were able to absent to New Schwabenland at the end of the war. Cut off from the rest of the world, the Reich developed advanced weapon systems such as the Reichsflugschieb Hanabu with its devastating on microwave technology based ray gun. During the following years, the Antarctic area was further explored until one day sightings of strange beings ac accumulated. Patrols never came back from their missions in the few sub survivors reported of two meter tall worm like creatures who devoured their victims alive okay we get the idea one thing about schwab in the world word i believe that's a, a an area of southern germany all i know is part of my heritage were schwabens on my mom's side so that's one of the things that attracted me to this game all right let's see what else is in here it's got an introduction going over the components Looks like they're two-sided counters because they have a weakened status. Looks like we got tripods there. That's cool. Entrenchment markers, ob objective markers. This indicates the number of reinforcements in the scenario. Rudin marker. Interesting. So it's kind of trying to use German names for flavor. That's cool. Determination phases. This uh, affects the activation and movement capabilities of their units. So there's a Reich action point phase and an alien movement point phase. And there's recovery phases. And now it's going over the action phase and the movement. Where is it? Does it have a formal sequence of play in here? I don't see one. Oh, here it is. I missed that. So it starts with uh, Reich AT AP determination phase, Reich recovery phase, Reich action phase, alien MP determination phase, alien recovery phase, and alien action phase. Okay. And showing downhill movement here. I guess it's a special type of movement in this game. Range combat, it's going over in line of sight. Armor and defensive bonuses. Looks like there's close combat too. That's interesting. And of course there's retreats. And there's overruns and trample downs. I'm going to assume the aliens do the trample downs. Uh, tripod can trample down. Okay. And apparently there's equipment too. You got mines, hand grenades. They're using the German words like hand grenade. Pertvin B? What is this? Oh, this is some kind of medicine that allows you to take an extra action. MG42, everyone knows what that is, and a Panzer Shrek. And it's talking about equipping reinforcements. This is created by Christian Sperling and publisher Mark Walker. Sources of inspiration, you don't see that very often. In rule books, they should do that more often. Mythos, New Schwabenland, and Star Quest. That's cool. I like how they got the notes section here, so you can take notes when you're reading the rules. That's that's a good idea. All right, let's see the scenarios here. See how much replayability this game has. It can be played in ascending order, starting with scenario one. 
if you're doing it in campaign mode, scenario six lasts ten turns instead of eight. And in the, I guess in the campaign mode, the faction who wins is the faction who wins scenario six. All right, this one's called Shotkey. The Reich sends out a reconnaissance troop to install a transmitter, secure the surrounding area, and look out for enemy movements. Helios fan, crashed Hannibal must be defended at all costs. The tripod and worms were seen approaching the crash site, and advance guard has already secured the area, and re reinforcements are on the way. There's no way I'm going to be able to pronounce that. Alien units have overrun a radar station. The remaining data must be secured immediately. And blue kales or blue coals. During a battle, Lieutenant Odin was separated from his troops. The aliens are highly interested in him. Bring him back to safety. By the way, we are short on uh, Pervitin B. And Actium, Lieutenant Odin delivered us interesting information among other things he discovers a cave system near a mountain formation when he is cut off secure the area lieutenant odin this is that lieutenant odin is dead a small alien worm burst out of his belly however more disturbing is the message of an alien army that marches against their base if the aliens should manage to deactivate our transmitters we are lost defend them at all costs it's quite a few scenarios i like that let's count them up one, two, three, four, five, six. Not bad, six scenarios. I can't remember what I paid for this game. I got it directly from Tiny Battle Publishing. Uh, I don't know if it was 20 or $30. It wasn't that much. Looks like there's a turn track on the map. The map's pretty simple. Looks like it might be miscut because if you can see part of the UFO here, the top is cut off. So I'm not sure if the maps are, and part of the end here is cut off. So they might have miscut it a little bit, the map, but whatever, no big deal. All right, let's take a look at the counters. See, see what we have here. It looks like they punch out easy. Am I looking at the, oh, that's the back. Okay, here's the front. So we got... These are some kind of German troops here. Half tracks, lieutenant. Got German UFOs, grenades, that, that medicine, mines, Panzer Shreks, MG 42s. I think uh, these are showing that you're dug in. Then you have these informational markers here. And here you have the aliens. Looks like the aliens just consist of worms and tripods. The artwork looks okay. It's not bad for an inexpensive game. Anyhow, just wanted to show you guys this game. If you liked the video, please click like on it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, have a good evening.